Greetings, Ram families. This is Dr. Mickey Reynolds, principal of Lake Mary High School, and in this video, I will offer information about the educational options that are available for your children during the 2020-21 school year. During last night's board meeting, members of the Seminole County School Board approved a reopening plan that includes four options for how children will engage in learning during the 2020-21 school year. Further, board members approved moving the school start date to Monday, August 17th. Seminole County Public Schools has consistently taken the lead in the state of Florida for offering quality educational options for our students with the goal of meeting the varied and individual needs and interests of students and families. Educating students in the age of COVID-19 offers no exception. Now that our school board has approved a reopening plan, a registration form has been emailed to all families to ask that you select which option best meets your child's needs when the school year begins. The purpose of this video is to offer additional information about each of the four options to assist Lake Mary High School families in making decisions that will best meet the needs of your children. I will begin by offering a brief overview of the four options and will continue by providing more detailed information about each one. The default option for all students is traditional in-school learning. In this option, students will return to their assigned schools for all day face-to-face -face instruction. Safety procedures and protocols will be implemented to protect the health and safety of students and staff. The second option is full-time instruction through Seminole County Virtual School. Students will be scheduled into online classes through Seminole County Virtual School. However, they will still be attached to their zone or choice brick and mortar school. This option requires a semester long commitment. The third option is hybrid learning. This option has been available to Seminole County Public School students for years and allows students to schedule some of their classes on the campus of their assigned school and some classes through Seminole County Virtual School, Seminole Connect, or even SSC dual enrollment. The final option is Seminole Connect. This option allows students to attend live lessons from home and be instructed by Seminole County Public School teachers in a remote environment that allows for student-teacher interaction but requires students to maintain the rigor and pacing of face-to-face -face instruction. Now let's take a closer look at each of the four options. As stated before, traditional in-school learning is the default option for all students. In other words, if you do not submit a registration form, we expect that your child will return to their assigned school for seven periods of face-to-face -face instruction beginning on August 17th. Students who return to their schools for face-to-face -face instruction will be expected to follow safety protocols such as wearing face coverings during arrival and departure from school, class exchanges, and during lunch periods, except when seated and eating. Students and families must adhere to SCPS health and safety guidelines on campus and at school restaurants, activities, and buses. Further, students will be asked to refrain from congregating with large groups of students and to make every effort to distance themselves from others. Additionally, students who present COVID-19 symptoms have been exposed to COVID-19 or are diagnosed with COVID-19 will be required to self-quarantine at home according to SCPS guidelines. For your information, we will staff a separate clinic for any students who present COVID-19 symptoms to keep them isolated until a family member can pick them up from school. The second option for families is to enroll your children in full-time instruction through Seminole County Virtual School for at least one semester. In this model, families establish their own daily learning schedule with SCPS teachers who are available from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Friday. Further, students will get engage in an online curriculum that is rigorous and interactive, one that has been created, developed, and continually revised by online learning experts. 
And even though students will be taking Seminole County virtual school classes, they will still be attached to their zone school and their progress will be monitored by teachers at their assigned schools. In fact, all ESE 504 and ESOL accommodations will be provided by staff at your student's zoned school. The third option for families is the hybrid learning model of instruction that offers families multiple learning options to meet the unique academic, personal, or program scheduling needs of their children. The hybrid model provides families the opportunity to work with staff at their assigned schools to create a schedule where students take some or even none of their classes on the campus of their zone school and remaining classes through either Seminole County Virtual School, Seminole Connect, or dual enrollment at Seminole State should they qualify. Students choosing this option should expect that their on-campus classes must be scheduled back to back to ensure that students enter and exit campus only once per school day. For example, students may choose to schedule four classes on campus during periods one through four and enroll in three classes through Seminole County Virtual School. In this way, students may avoid their lunch period if desired. If you choose this option, Expect that counselors will work with families to accommodate your requests as best we can. The next option is Seminole Connect. Students who choose the Seminole Connect option will maintain enrollment at their zone high school and will participate in innovative at-home learning aligned to state standards and Seminole County Public School instructional plans. Students will follow a school day schedule using technology and other instructional resources to learn from their teachers who will be presenting live lessons in classrooms at the student's zone school to the extent possible. In other words, this learning option will simulate face-to-face -face instruction in a remote environment with the expectation that students will adhere to the same daily schedule they would follow by attending school each day on the campus of Lake Mary High School. Seminole Connect offers the option for students to return to in-school learning after each nine-week grading period with the same teacher to the extent possible. This option may be the best choice for students and families who are hoping to return to face-to-face -to -face instruction as soon as possible. There are several factors that families may want to consider before submitting your registration forms. First of all, no matter which learning option families choose, Students will still be afforded the opportunity to participate in sports and other curricular activities at their assigned schools. In other words, you should not allow concerns over sports or club participation to, to impact your decision because no matter which option you choose, your child will still be able to participate at their zone school. When making your decision, keep in mind that students who choose the Seminole County Virtual School option will not have the opportunity to return to campus for face-to-face -face instruction until the end of the first semester. However, students who select the Seminole Connect option will have the opportunity to return to campus at the end of the first quarter. If families choosing Seminole Connect are not ready for your child to return to school at the end of the first quarter, you may reconsider at the end of the second quarter. And finally, just to assure parents who students are here through a program of emphasis, your admission to Lake Mary High School through your POE will continue to be honored no matter which option you choose. I hope this video has helped Lake Mary High School families understand your options so that you can make an informed decision before submitting your registration form. However, I realize that you may still have questions. If so, please, Fill out the survey at the link provided. I have also placed this link on the email to you. After collecting your questions, I will host a WebEx online meeting available to all families on Tuesday, July 21st at 5 p.m. for the purpose of answering your questions before the July 24th deadline of submitting your registration form. If you have not received the WebEx meeting information over email, please check our website for a link to attend the meeting. Thank you for watching this video and please know that the administration, faculty and staff at Lake Mary High School are committed to working with families to secure the most appropriate quality educational experience for all students 
in these uncertain times. And as always, go Rams!